Hello, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel. Um, so I had a comment, I think on my most recent video, or no, probably the one before that. Um, it was, it was really sweet. Um, and it said that I actually would never have a good family, children, husband, um, or overall life that I was cringe and should lose subscriber. And today, we're going to be proving that commenter right. I'm going to be showing you my crack sketchbooks. If you haven't watched my channel before, these are sketchbooks I do while doing my professional to my standards type sketchbooks. So you could say these are a little bit more broodier, sussier, and definitely a little more chaotic. Um, yeah, um, it's all giving crack and energy. Oh my god, am I gonna get demonetized? <laughs> no, you do. Susan, please sign me my check. I need to get paid this month. <laughs> but we have three sketchbooks here today and one folder, as you can see, is affectionately named the crack folder with a very little sussy face. Um, so, oh, this is the newest. This is wait no second newest this is oldest we're going to be starting with the newest and the best one because i know you guys only stick around for about five minutes and i want you to see my best work and my best work is ludwig in a dress so here we have the first page with my biological fathers um tyler and josh if you didn't know i'm actually their kid they're not married they're not in a relationship i'm not saying that i'm just saying i am their kid and you wouldn't know that <laughs> we have Germa in a very normal shirt. Uh, I actually did make this into a sticker, which is sick. I gave it to my friend. She doesn't watch a Germa, but she really, really wanted this as a sticker. So I, of course, made it for her. Uh, this is a comic that I redrew in my own style. I saw a Twitter user. They did it, but they were redrawing a panel from Neon Genesis that was edited to be a meme. So I was like, at that point, it's just free reign. Um, free reign? Free game. Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> I'm malfunctioning, guys. I'm glitching. This is from when Ludwig lost that one episode. Oh my god, I forget what it's called. But he lost to Germa, and Germa loved that. I honestly do not know how Germa won because he lost at, like, every challenge my characters, Alex and Charlie, being darlings. The character Charlie, a terrifying drawing of Germa. Catboy Germa, like, look at his little face. Absolutely disgusting. Ludwig, he streamed that day, and I caught the stream, and he was wearing a maid outfit. And so I, I'm, it's just, I'm, like, contractually obligated to draw guys in maid outfits when they wear one. Oh, here's a little comic of my characters. If you can read my handwriting, feel free to read the comic. That goes for every comic in here because apparently no one can read my handwriting. It's the same for this comic. It was actually really funny because while writing this comic, I was like, I need to switch some things up because <laughs> Damien was like, actually sounded like a sugar daddy and... I wasn't about to have that. That's just so funny. Marshall being a sugar baby. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. I drew this when my friend told me Criminal Minds is being taken off of Netflix. I cried. I sobbed. I threw up. I was shaking. I was shook. I was just quaking in my boots on the floor, terrified, petrified. And so I was like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to watch the entire series. And then I watched like three episodes of the first season and was like... I'm bored. <laughs> but I tried to draw while watching it because it always makes me want to draw them because everyone in that show is so beautiful. And of course, I cannot draw them up to their beauty. I do them no justice. Another comic of my characters. But this is before they're like an item. We love some mutual pining here. Same page. I have to give these zoom up shots because my hand writing is so incredibly small. Oh, Marshall. Oh my god, he is so cute. He is just so. Oh 
oh my god i love him so much oh right here i wrote down he's hot in a pathetic way no he's pathetic in a hot way <laughs> oh him wearing a radiohead shirt american psycho t-shirt this is when the inside deluxe album came out and i just had to write down somewhere that 1985 is such a bop oh my god it's so good more marshall um he's actually doing something i don't know why this is like my immediate thing that i just thought of him to be doing but he's watching like the news at 3 a.m it's something i used to do a lot like in quarantine what i'm saying is he's depressed <laughs> um him singing some old song i forgot the name of it oh we're through uh him and damien oh my god my tripod has just been falling over this entire time and none of you guys said anything wow i thought you guys were real ones my character Lindsay. i'm trying to sit in my chair but like i can't see anything going on if i am okay if that works sorry guys I'm like the substitute teacher that doesn't know how to work the camera. I mean, the computer. <laughs> Here we have Lindsay, my darling. She's just so beautiful. All my friends love her. Um, <laughs> I'm very good at drawing pretty lady. Well, maybe not with anatomy, but definitely... Well, I think I'm not good at women's anatomy, but all my friends tell me I am. That's so cute. Her and Victor. Oh my god. They're not boyfriend and girlfriend, but they are best friends, and that's an even better dynamic. I wrote down right here, it is 2.35 a.m., and I am planning a wedding with my own character. Some obligatory supernatural fan art. I was re-watching the first couple episodes, and then I stopped, like I always do, because it stresses me out. I get, like, secondhand anxiety from, like, their problems now. I'm a f I'm such a poser, such a poser Tumblr user. When I was like nine, I did watch like every episode until season ten because I think only season ten was out when I was nine years old. Oh, that's so much more comfortable. Okay, but you know, I got some Destiel fan art. Ooh, my gosh! I love them so much. Sam and Dean. I was so proud of this, dude. Ugh, and I smudged Sam's face. Everyone likes these sketches on Pinterest. I was very surprised. More Lindsay. I'm not sure how to feel about her face in that one, though. More of my characters, Alexander and Charlie. This was a comic, but I guess I just was too lazy to write the words. Oh my gosh, this is the night me and Regan... Me and my friend watched, um, Batman. Oh my god, this begins the very, very long obsession with Paul Dano. I didn't watch it when it came out. I literally watched it, like, a couple weeks ago. <laughs> so this isn't that old. Um, yeah, I just, this is probably the best composed page in the entire sketchbook. Lady Gaga lyrics. And just... Riddle Bat. What more can you ask for other than Britney Spears, Lady Gaga, and the Riddler? Three icons. Three gay icons. Um, but I was recently watching someone's sketchbook tour, another artist, and they were like, <laughs> they were like, oh, this character would have the worst taste in music. So I put down Lady Gaga lyrics, and I was just like, sorry guys, my Alexa just went off. <laughs> I guess I got a notification. Um, but they were like, oh, I... <laughs> they would listen to the worst type of music, so I put down Lady Gaga lyrics, and I was like, yeah, I... Oh my god, I hate her too. Oh my gosh, I don't have any of her albums on CD or anything. Yeah, she sucks, guys. Like, oh my god, I, I hate her. <laughs> no, I love Gaga more than anything on this planet. more of the riddler and batman oh my god 
more of the Riddler. That'll probably be the thumbnail. His crazy looking face. Eat your food. What you looking for crazy for? That's what he's reminding me of. Oh, this is just me planning stuff. That was me planning stuff. Listen, kids. Listen here, kitties. Okay, girls. Guys. Non-binaries. Listen. Listen. This is why we keep a planning sketchbook. Because without sketching that out at a Beefo Brady's, I probably wouldn't have had this. Okay? And depending on whether... I don't care if you think this drawing is good or not. It's just the fact that I finished it. <laughs> So without this and wanting to and like sketching this out, I probably wouldn't have sketched this out on a finished piece of paper. That was a comic I was planning, um, but it was for American Psycho and oh my gosh, it was for the song. You probably don't know the artist. He's like really underground and indie. And, like, you just wouldn't know him. His name's Eminem. Yeah. And the song is Kim. You wouldn't know that song. So underground. That's sus. Guys, is... The shirtless Batman sus? Oh my god, nothing's focusing. The Riddler. Oh my gosh, he's just so beautiful. I love Paul Dano so much. This one, I don't know how to feel about this. I feel like something is too short about him. <laughs> this, though, I do like his hair in this one. Like, the strands in his face look pretty good. Guys, my tripod is broke, just like me. So, if it's at a very weird angle... I told you this. My tripod is not a tripod. It is PCP, PCP pipes hot glued together. Um, because we are also a DIY channel. <laughs> but, stick with me, please. Yeah, just some very sussy Batman fan art. Oh, I drew this because I was like, I need to draw my own characters again. I'm going to forget how to draw them. And I did because they look whack. Except for this one. I like Damien's hair right here. He looks rich. He is rich. He's like the Jeffrey Bezos of that world except with hair and taut and can keep a spouse. <laughs> Whoops. That's just my characters being sussy. Ew, I tried to draw Caleb. Caleb. Caleb from Oompaville. And, um, he does not look very cute. I tried drawing him again because I felt bad for messing him, for doing him so wrong the last time. And he does look like him from that era. His twunk era. More Riddler. He is just, I'm sorry, this is going to be... Really? You guys know... <laughs> I can't take myself seriously. You guys know this is a family-friendly channel, and I would never do anything to be inappropriate. But he is so hot. Oh my god, I love Paul Dano so much. You guys underestimate my love for Paul Dano. Jesus. And then him in chains, like I told you, it's a Celsius sketchbook, okay? And then this is so good. I love this. I hate Bruce Wayne. Me too. Oh, oh my god, that scared me. Yeah, I assume this this was from a screenshot I saw on Pinterest. I assume he like got punched in the face because it's a movie with Paul Dano in it. What name a Paul Dano movie where he isn't getting punched in the face? But I assumed he was like getting up off the ground, but like not in my household. He is throwing it back. He is throwing it back. Ugh, this way is a quirked up white boy throwing it back at 1 11 a.m. Um, I so eloquently named this page this title. Um, I know it doesn't look good, but I was practicing, okay? I was trying to draw Paul Dano realistically so I could draw more Riddler fan art realistically because, you know, if you don't draw Paul Dano looking realistic, then you get DM'd to KYS, so... I won't him. <laughs> I do won't him. More Riddler and Batman fan art. As I said, family friendly channel, guys. 
I was gonna be like, I have like nine year olds watching this channel, but I also have people who are in college watching this channel. So, more of this. More of just <laughs> Bruce Wayne and Edward. My friend was like, I like this one better. And I was like, why? And she was like, because he's closer, which is which just means it's gayer. And I was like, mm, checks out. But yeah, just them being them. I really like this. I want to make this into a finished piece. That's pretty good for how small I drew it. Priest Bruce Wayne. And then more of him just crying and chains. What did you expect? Oh my gosh, I posted this and one of my friends who's probably watching this <laughs> was like, she got some tatas. I am gay now. And I was like, the power art holds is truly amazing. But Marshall and Damien, cute. Rosemary and Alexander, how much to put NyQuil in his orange juice, talking about Victor. A comic that if you can make sense of, you get a gold star because I can't even make sense of it. It was like working out pretty good in the beginning and then it just like crashed and burned. I don't know. Just like all of my other comics. Guys, if you've been watching my channel, you know I don't finish any comics. You know I don't do that. Oh my gosh. Yep, that was- oh, this was me planning for a uh, My Chemical Romance and the Riddler fan art page, which I'll show you in a second. That's a pretty good sketch of him. I really like that. Yeah, hold on. Let me get my other sketchbook. One second, hun. Try not to show too much. Um, yeah, see? Another example of why we keep planning sketchbooks, kids. This was the sketch, and that's the finished product. Yep. You know what to do to guys like us in prison. And like I said before, if you don't, keep it that way. <laughs> Someone saw my Riddler fan art and they commented and they said, I'm scared. And I said, keep it that way. Don't come back. <laughs> oh, this is when I... Guys, you if you like my personality, by the way, why then you need to thank Brendan Rogers because he made me who I am today. Unrestricted internet access at the age of eight was actually a good thing because he made me so funny. Yes. Oh my gosh. I watched his um, Bryce Tank Thrust celebrates pride as a CEO. It was so good. And that made me rewatch like all of his classic videos. I tried drawing him. It doesn't look like him like at all, but like... That one does kind of look like him. I'm actually kind of proud of that. That one does look like him, but only because he was wearing a mask, so I didn't draw the bottom half of his face. This is pretty good. It's very simplistic, but I like how it's put together. A more Bryce Tank Thrust celebrating pride. They keep adding letters, but I keep adding tolerance. <laughs> I love it so much. She's one of my favorite characters of his. Oh, this one, dude, someone commented and was like, the Riddler is literally chubby. And I was like, girl, you call him Paul Dano chubby? Girl, I'm sorry, but did you see those photos of him? In that green suit, those promotion photos. Girl, I want you to walk up to Paul Dano and say, Don't worry, sir. I defended your honor. I made sure some 14-year-old fan artist on Pinterest drew you fatter. <laughs> I want you to tell me what Paul Dano says to you. <laughs> Please. Also, there is so much wrong and like, like anatomy-wise with this drawing. It's ugly. It's an ugly drawing. You could have said that. <laughs> but yeah, I tried to draw him in his mask, and then I tried to draw him pulling off his mask, but it's not very cute. And then some family-friendly stuff that shouldn't get demonetized. Um, This is so cute. I love this. Look at him! Oh my god. 
Look, I, oh my god, I love that drawing so much. Bruce is so cute. This is me just trying to fill space drawing. I was like, oh my god, how haven't I, how haven't I drawn the Riddler crying yet? And so I just drew him crying a bunch. That one's probably my favorite, though. It's really cute. Again, simplistic, but cute. My phone don't even want to focus on this. I can't say that word on YouTube because my channel will get like smite down, but it's there. And that's how me and my friend react every time we see a picture of the Paul Dano's Riddler. That was a sketch for a bigger piece, but I haven't done it yet. Oh, <laughs> this one of Selena and Bruce and Edward. Get your boyfriend. He don't bite. Yes, it do. Oh, his depression arc. More Paul Dano. Hold on, hold on, guys. Oh my gosh. This is- I have to get my whole PowerPoint out. I gotta bring out my sketchbook again. Oh my god. No, not y'all seeing the ponies on my table, bruh. Look at that. Okay, so there definitely wasn't a cut in between that last one. And we're gonna carry on because I definitely didn't accidentally turn off the camera. <laughs> I'm definitely a prof professional, guys. Look at that. Okay, what I was talking about? My PowerPoint. Okay. So this is a page I just did yesterday based on this sketch because I really liked it. And it it's kind of okay. I don't know. I don't, I'm not too big on the colors here. I tried to make up for it with the rest of the page, but it's not very cute. Oh, yeah. He had a dream about a thing. <laughs> I was listening to Vessel because I was um, depressed, which is the only reason why people listen to Vessel by Tony Pilots. And it was really good, and I really wanted to draw Tyler. And so I did, and he looks beautiful. <laughs> wow, Bianca, put this in hashtag vent. more of Tyler and Josh. You're the judge. Josh Dunn. I love that part. I didn't know until a couple weeks ago that he was screaming Josh Dunn in the background of the song. This one's really good. I might want to turn that into a finished product. I'm just scared that if I turn it into a finished drawing, it won't be as fluent looking. Oh, and then the 21 Pilots Vine, Vine account was like one of my favorite things on the planet, so I drew some fan art for it. Oh, more of Edward screaming than my characters. And then what's the last thing Bianca drew? Edward in a mermaid outfit! <laughs> I'm done. Goodbye. Okay, so that was the first sketchbook. These next ones are gonna go a little quicker. Okay, so this is the disappointment sketchbook. This one I actually did a couple weeks up to my graduation. Yes, that's correct. I had this while I was on my vacation, but I drew nothing while on vacation. Oh, don't read that. So it says right here, it says, what does it say? Sunday, May 22nd, 2022. Summer before high school burn book. That's what I was calling this book. The next week we'll be practicing for graduation, so I'm not going to stress over art. I did. Graduation is today. Officially a high schooler. Happy Pride Month. Shout out to the gays. And then nothing else is written on that page we need to talk about. Yep. <laughs> Patrick Bateman comic, comic I made. Why are you following me around? Why are you shopping where I shop? Jean and Patrick Bateman. I actually showed this to a person at my school because they wanted to see. They were like, oh, show me your sketchbook. And so I do this and they're like, is that actually your mom and dad? And I was like, yup. Sure. But, you know, they're just my favorite hedgerows. Uh, this one, I don't know where the, like, my 
intent to do detail came from. Because this is pretty good. Like, look at Paul Allen's head. This is from the scene in um, the musical. That one's not as good, though. Oh, yeah. This will be a trend, you see, of me just drawing the My Little Pony characters as girls. <laughs> and then... Ugly, ugly Germa. Ugly Germa. Hot Germa. And then a self-portrait. <laughs> she is Gucci down to the socks, but still <laughs> needs four dollars. And another self-portrait of me singing Hip to be Square. Because that was my favorite song at the time. More of my characters. Wow. Oh my gosh, is nothing focusing? I literally can't see. This is a pretty good drawing of Patrick. You were right, Mom. I'm not based. I'm mentally ill. Oh, it was really hot that day, so I just drew my characters being very hot. Some Vlad dispute lyrics. Oh, this was the night before graduation. And I was really nervous. So I just drew Damien. <laughs> Some Lady Gaga lyrics. Oh, this is the beginning to a comic. This is a pretty good comic. It's like cute. Um, it's at the beginning of my story, so if you wanted to read it, you could if you can make out what any of them are saying. Yeah. And then... This, listen guys, they are shoe shopping. Don't turn it into something. Don't turn it into anything else. They're shoe shopping. And then Alexander makes fun of Charlie. And that's it. But this is so cute. I didn't draw their heads, but like, look at their fits. I both, I own both of those outfits. <laughs> um, more Law Dispute lyrics from King Park. More Alexander and Charlie. This whole page is just Alex and Charlie. I really like that one of them. That one too. Charlie pouring coffee into his iced coffee. That one is so cute. Their hair looks like so soft. Oh girl. I don't think we can show this page. Yeah. You guys will be fine. Okay. I act like I'm like teaching a preschool class. <laughs> This one, which is cute. This one I can show. Okay. Sorry, guys. I, my sketchbook is just filled to the brim with, sucky, with sussy baka. <laughs> uh, yeah. Marshall and Damien again. Oh, And then Josh Dunn and Rosie Joseph. Because he's an uncle. Oh, he's an uncle. Okay, last book, guys. Last book, and then we go to the boulder. Are you ready, class? Okay. Wait, did I tour this one? Already? No. No, I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> That's gonna be real embarrassing if I did. Did I? No. No, I didn't, because I left this in my car. That's why. That's how I know. I almost had, like, a panic attack on camera. My character, Sarah, looking gorgeous, as always, with her marina and the diamond shirt. Victor, oh my god, he is like the definition of slay. Look at that waistline. Oh my god, I love him so much. Ew, that is such a gross sketch of Patrick Bateman, bro. It's like okay from here, and then like, mm -mm. Mm -mm. Aw, more Victor, but he's edgy now. Bo Burnham lyrics. Heather Chandler, I assume. And then my friends. Um, people in my third period class. And then my friend. I'm just like documenting everyone's posture. 
Uh, I guess I was anxious when I drew these because Charlie is screaming, crying, saying he's gonna puke and that he wants to die. I always do that. I always project onto Charlie and no one else. Oh my god. I keep forgetting y'all can see my figures. Why is that embarrassing? <laughs> I'm so proud of my figures until it's like in my YouTube video. I don't like you guys. Don't look at my pony. <laughs> Ew. Okay, this is this is the only one I still like of that one. More Sarah. This one kind of popped off on Pinterest. That one of Sarah and Kurt. Oh, Gerard. That's a cute little picture of Gerard. <gasps> Gerard and Mikey! With Lady Gaga lyrics. And then Gerard and Frank singing Buddy Holly. Because I've been listening to Weezer. Patrick Bateman being emo. That one also kind of popped off on Pinterest. Gerard and Frank digging up a body. My characters again, but a less serious comic. This is so cute. Oh my gosh. I <laughs> he looks so emo. I actually made him stand like exactly like Gerard in that one like promotion photo of the Black Parade. They're so cute. I guess I was feeling really down this day and I just drew Bo Burnham because I was it was like on a loop um that funny feeling so I just drew a bunch of sad lyrics and him in sad positions. Oh, Bur Bo Burnham is just the male Mitski. Oh, ew! A bunch of ugly drawings of Bo Burnham! Ugh, wait, that one still holds, though. Oh my gosh, just a sketch of Rosemary. I think I was rewatching Victorious when I was doing this, so that's supposed to be Victorious fan art. Oh my gosh, I just like left out entire pages. Oh, Drew Monson and Garrett Watts. Oh, look at my Gare Bear. He's so cute. Um, drawings of Jeffrey Dahmer from the My Friend Dahmer movie. I'm like, I have to, I have to draw him at least like th once every three months. I watch that movie like once every year. Charlie, I guess I was trying to draw a frame from a scene of the movie. I was trying to draw more like um, Polaroid type photos. This one is the only one that still kind of looks decent. If my camera would focus. Oh my gosh, trying to draw Alex and Charlie with their mom. Not Alex and Charlie, um, I mean Alex and Victor with their mom. I tried to draw <laughs> purple guy. <laughs> purple guy. Yeah, he looks ugly. I, drew, I posted the final product on my Pinterest and he's ugly. Um, Charlie. I wanted to draw him in like a t-shirt and shorts that were too big for him. This is actually so cute. Rosemary, a 13 year old Rosemary, an 8 year old Alex, and a 10 year old Victor. How darling. Mm, a little comic of um, Marshall and Damien. His face is so cute there. Oh, that's, she's a pretty lady. Oh, this comic is actually pretty good. Like, if it's just about Charlie, like, being sick. But, like, if you want to read it, if you can read it, go ahead. <laughs> I had to look up... I had to literally Google, what do you learn about in psychology college <laughs> for that joke. Oh wow, I was- I drew a lot for this. 
I posted like frames of this from my, on my story with no context, but it's <laughs> I don't know. People still liked it, and I was glad. I was like, thank God I did not to post the full comic, because that would be quite embarrassing. But yet here I am. Is there anything else? Yes. Hold on. Oh. My friend. I drew her and then I drew her again and then I drew her again, but she looks not very good there. I tried to draw myself as the character from Markiplier in Space. It didn't work out. I tried to draw myself as a character of Markiplier in Space again and obviously it was not working out. Trade Jaw, that looks like me trying to draw Mike Lafton. Another comic, which I think is still pretty good. Because usually I like hate things like the night after I draw them, comic wise. So if you can read this, again, go ahead. It's pretty funny. Like, I'm kind of proud of it. Well, at least I think it's funny. So there you go. And I was really proud about how it like kind of showcased their personalities. Look at him cooking. Yes, King. Oh my gosh. Cooking and we're like, <laughs> yes, King. <laughs> oh my gosh. I am so funny. How cute. How absolutely darling. I don't like how you can see my desk because my tripod is so broke. <sighs> you can see like the, the my anime figures. <laughs> okay, so here we are moving on to the folder. That's right, the crack folder, guys. We're not gonna be doing this side because I'm pretty sure it's just like a couple pages from my newest trash sketchbook and some homework that I got paranoid to throw away like a year ago. So these is probably from maybe late, late, late 2020. Maybe through 2021 and then early, early 2022. So let's go through this. Most of this is MCR fan art that I didn't think were good enough. But this is from a comic I did where Mikey committed sewer slide and Gerard was able to bring him back to life as a vampire um, because he got bit in a nightclub by some random dude. And <laughs> what can I say? I'm demented. And so, after, so before this frame... Gerard was like, I'm worthless. I can't even bring him back to life. And that's the only good thing that comes out of being a stupid vampire. And then Mikey wakes up and he's like, what did I tell you about talking about yourself like that? <laughs> oh my god, I'm so cringe. I should lose subscriber. Oh no. I'm a changed person, guys. I don't draw MCR fan art like that anymore. Gerard and Frank... Gerard with a pretty sick fit. Teenagers. Some studies I tried to do of Tootie's legs. I really do like those legs. How one is in front of the other like that. Pretty sick still. This drawing I did of Ty and Josh, except I was coloring in Josh upside down. So like the part that's supposed to be skin color is red too. This first part to a comic, this is Roxanne from um, Security Breach. Yeah, it says, are you, <laughs> be honest, are you resisting the urge to make out with me right now? No, but this piece is really good. Five from the comment, comments. God, from the, <laughs> from the comics. I own the Umbrella Academy comics because of course I do and his character design is so cute and I needed to draw like him in my style. Gerard and Mikey, but Mikey looks more like a 30 year old mom. 
That hand is pretty good though, like, not gonna lie. This is from 2020. I was trying to draw a realistic height difference of Gerard and Frank. He's <laughs> saying pog. Gerard saying, I just want to sit here and rot. Markiplier. When I really got into three scary games, I would watch it like every day before going to school. Um, and I just had to draw fan art. My mom said it doesn't really look like him. It looks like <laughs> it looks like me. <laughs> and I was like, Mom, do you not just call Markiplier emo? <gasps> oh my gosh, I'm gonna make all of you seasick with my camera because it's again, it's broken. Gerard in his concert attire. He has like four chains on, a bandana, a beer, um, a handkerchief, you know, fingerless gloves, buttons on his jean jacket. A very messed up drawing of, looking drawing of Tate Langdon from American Horror Story. His head is so tall. Oh my god. This was supposed to be I don't know if you can see that when Gerard is turning into a vampire he's like Frankie help me I'm so hungry yeah look at that lettering though so cute and tiny and then you guys remember that sketchbook where it had like way too many Umbrella Academy way too many pieces of Umbrella Academy fan art and I was like oh my god more Umbrella Academy fan art well, <laughs> this is something I ended up cutting out of it. Oh my god. This, which I never posted on purpose because I knew I would get, again, DM to KYS. Oh my god. Frank, Gerard, and Mikey in the Mean Girls Santa outfit. <laughs> that is so perfect for a family-friendly Christmas. My online friend, who I drew on my homework. Hey, yo, I got a 93 on this. Let's go. Gerard, standing beautifully in front of some trees. That does actually kind of look like him from his dad era. Wow. Gerard and Mikey, except Gerard looks zooted and Mikey looks terrifying. Um, Miles, no, Michael something <laughs> from National Anthem. Me and my friend is Tyler and Josh from 21 Pilots. Cute. I'm obviously Tyler. Merry Christmas, ho ho homo. <laughs> oh, Gerard. As you're watching American Horror Story, and that's one of the sisters. This was a self-portrait. <laughs> That's... I look like a vampire. I do look like that in real life, which is very embarrassing. Um, Gerard, looking cute. Oh my gosh. Look at that haircut. <gasps> the birthday card I made for Ray Toro. Happy birthday, Ray. 44 years old, you old man. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at them. That's so cute. I never catch their birthdays. I've been a fan for like, what, four years now? And I've never been able to celebrate one of their birthdays except for Ray's. Um, a painting of Gerard that didn't work out. Oh, this is for the Christmas thing. Thanks for the Xbox, G. <laughs> You're welcome, Frankie. I hate it here. John Mulaney. That's what I thought you'd say, you dumb horse. It's one of my favorite, favorite specials of all time. I watch that like twice every week. A drawing of Gerard and Frank. Oh, by the way, I lost to Ray. You what? A drawing of me and my friend. 
Oh my god, no. I literally can't show that. Um, Gerard and Frank? Uh, Gerard, Gerard, Garrett Watts, Ger oh, Frank, and Jimmy Urin, but we don't like him anymore. <laughs> I guess I tried- oh wow, you cannot see that on camera. I tried doing math on here, but I ended up drawing Charlie in a crop top that I own. Oh my gosh, no. <laughs> oh. oh gosh, I'm so glad I didn't post this to Pinterest. Gerard, Mikey, and Frank in their Easter uniforms serving the day of the Lord. I literally can't see anything, bro. You're gonna have to tell me if I'm doing this right. Okay, so next we're gonna go through... I have these papers here of, oh, what is this? This is the thing I did where I drew, like, for the last couple weeks of school, whatever I wanted on just blank pieces of paper. And, yeah, I can't see anything. But <laughs> this is when Jeremiah played um, Simpsons Hidden Run. I just watched that, and then I drew me meeting Jerma. Then there's Gerard dyeing his hair in a motel bathroom and he says, how does it look? Like you dyed it in a motel bathroom. Sick! This was the first version of the comic in the black book, but this one looks better because I actually wanted to do it. I think this was one of the first ones I ever did. Yeah. It's the Angel Gabriel from the Mandela Catalogs. That one popped off on Mitchell's too. Um, D12's uh, My Band, but <laughs> with Gerard, Frank, and Mikey. Gerard and Frank. Gerard. Except they all look ugly. Um, Gerard and Ray. Gerard. Gerard, Ray, and Mikey. Gerard, Mikey, and Frank. Oh, that was me. I probably messed up. Y'all don't need to see that. Um, Elle Woods from Legally Blonde. And then this little, oh my gosh, I love this little drawing of Klaus. Look at him. And I did this comic uh, from a scene from Umbrella Academy. I love that scene a lot. Oh my gosh, drawings of Patrick Bateman. Because I was reading the book. Oh, it says Phil Collins is playing in class, and I think I should go full Patrick Bateman. Um, <laughs> don't. Oh, this was from when I was one point uh, under my grade level in one class, and I couldn't go on the last field trip of the year. And so I wrote F Bush Gardens. All my homies hate Bush Gardens. 4 26 2022. Oh, these are really good. I really love this drawing of Patrick Bateman and Paul Allen. This is, I'm com utterly insane. I like to dissect girls. I like Iggy Pop, too. <laughs> and then the prettiest streamer on Twitch, aka Germa985. More drawings of Paul and Allen. And then this one, which is this, the P.S. Resistance, baby. Look at that. This is um, fan art for the musical specifically because I watched the musical number for Hip to Be Square and it was so good and I love it so much. My favorite scene from the entire musical. And then my friend in class. Oh, <laughs> I'm witnessing mental illness. Germa. Just a lot of Germa. This is right when I got into him, like watching him. I was trying really hard to draw him. These two, though, these two sketches of him with Otto are the cutest things I've ever drawn. Look at that. Oh my god, how precious, bro. <laughs> this will be the first time I sleep on the bed. <laughs> and then he passes out on the floor. Oh, that was so funny. This one is probably my favorite one because it's the most chaotic. Um, right here, you have a quote from Germa. Uh, 4 2022 don't be 
effing moron like me do your schoolwork. And it was funny because when he said that, the night before when he said that, um, because I drew this at school, obviously, he, I was trying to do, I was trying to finish an essay that was supposed to be done, like, the day before. And so hearing him say that, I was just like, this is a sign. (laughs) Oh my gosh, when he got, he was playing Wobbly Doggies. That was the first stream of his I ever caught live. And um, he named his three-legged dog Tripod. And he immediately was like, no, that wasn't the right thing to do. Oh, this is really good, Victor and Charlie. Remember, just because he pays for your rehab, it does not mean he loves you. Okay. Oh, me, a portrait of me which looks surprisingly like me. The dogs, Jeremy, they're rotting because the entire chat, the entire night for like four hours was like, Jeremy, your dog died in the other room, in the game, in the game, in a video game. And he was just letting it sit there and it turned to bones while he was trying to clean it up. I was like, take care of the dogs and then take care of the mess. Jeez. This little comic of my friends fighting and then me and my friends saying, can we get a waffle? Can we please get a waffle? More MCR and D12. And then my friends. <laughs> He's so little. Oh my gosh, more of Jerma and Otto. And then my friend again. Jerma. <laughs> when he got his onion ring, there was a dog that looked a lot like Otto, so me and my friend started singing Ave Maria to it. Um, I know I didn't spell that right. I know, so you don't need to tell me. I know. Him and Otto again, bro. Me as an engineer in Markiplier in space again. And then me trying to draw Lindsay and giving up. This was, I think, one of the first ones where I drew Michael. He definitely loves 21 Pilots, I can tell you that. Oh my gosh, my legs have fallen asleep. <laughs> my entire leg. Um. Oh yeah, I drew Charlie having a panic attack for me again. Because I think I had to rehearse a scene in um, speech and debate class. And I was freaking out because I didn't know my lines. Because my partner also didn't know her lines. And they were like, no scripts. We're going to do a scene without scripts. And we ended up using our scripts anyways. But yeah. The stages of anxiety with Charlie. He's screaming, overthinking, not paying attention to what anyone is saying because he's overthinking. Okay, okay. Here we have more of the the My Little Pony girls, but in my style. Oh my gosh, Pinkie Pie trying to show Twilight mindless self-indulgence. It's gonna rain. Okay, now we're moving into some old art. (laughs) Happy Pride, guys. Oh my god. Y'all can see my whole made anime figure over there. Jeez. This was a drawing I did of my friend who was so pretty. He was so pretty. I love him. He's not dead. Oh my god, I made it sound like he's dead. <laughs> no, we just got like split up. I really, he, he was amazing. I love him. But I did, I did ask me it sound like he was dead. Oh, that's just my thing from class. A very old drawing of Charlie when, you know, it's old because he still had his middle part and was wearing glasses. And also because there's a book about Hamilton in the back. So this was obviously from like 2019. Um, this was hanging, I guess. Yeah, on my bulletin board. Ugh, a really old, gross drawing of Alexander and Charlie. Oh my god. Talk about saturation. Oh my gosh, a painting that sucks from my Tumblr era. I'm not talking Hamilton Tumblr era. I'm talking, like, true crime community Tumblr era. Girl. <laughs> More. This is so beat up, but it was it was failed, um... Clone High fan art, but get this, the lyrics are from, I don't know how, but they found me. Fan art from a, for, for a TikToker, 
who would dress like Hatsune Miku, and she did a TikTok to um, a what's his name? I literally got the word. I really got the name Jack from him. Jack Stauber. Yeah. If you guys didn't know, the Jack must die from my um, from my other social media handles. That's because I really loved. I really adored Jack Stauber. And so I was like, if I could pick a name, I'd pick Jack because he's an amazing artist. I just have a bunch of <laughs> schoolwork in here that I got hundreds on and wanted to keep. Um, very old drawing of Alexander and Johnny. <laughs> this is so gringy to be showing you. Oh my god. Oh, it's from 2020, early 2020. No one in this comic speaks Japanese. They live in New Jersey, yet it's written in Japanese at the bottom. <gasps> oh my god. A, a very old Be More Chill sticker. The gayer it feels, the better. If anyone also read the book, I'm glad we have shared trauma. Um, please DM me if you read the book. We can go through it together. We'll get through this, I swear. Failed drawings of Germa that are just so bad. A failed drawing of Patrick Bateman. Markiplier and Ethan. Oh, these are so old. It looks so gross. Oh my god. Oh, so ugly. A old drawing of Will from Hannibal. Bruh is right. Oh my god, so ugly. Those are more notes from class. A very recent failed drawing of Mikey Way. Very old killing stalking poster I made and had on my wall for a very long time. Ow. <laughs> this tripod is gonna be the death of me, bruh. <laughs> oh my god. I never told you guys, but one time the tripod fell on my face and I almost broke my nose. It was hilarious. I look like Murdoch Nichols. <laughs> uh, oh, this is uh, Damien and Marshall, but like from that vine. Charlie being a hoochie mama and showing off his stomach. It's a good looking stomach though. Failed comic, Umbrella Academy comic. Um, based off the Ballad of Sarah Berry, that song. It's one of the best songs ever created. This, which made me really upset because I failed so hard at drawing Luke and Kyle. But look, it was, it was the, like, the outline for this page that I would end up doing instead. So, something good, at least something good came out of it. Clone High fan art. Clone High fan art before TikTok. <gasps> this is actually really good. Okay, guys, this is actually pretty good. This is also from, like, late 2019. Um, I was in sixth grade when I drew this. Sixth grade, bruh. Um, it's an old Curtis Connor fan art. From the... Wait, what was the video? The Man... The Mansers. When that video came out, that's when I drew it. This... Okay. This automatically gets zero points because it is a drawing of Jeffrey Dahmer. <laughs> um, this has literally. Oh, that's the part that was ripped out of the other drawing. Oh, this is me trying to design stickers to sell at school for like Christmas money in 2020, but. They all look like icons for, like, a Roblox YouTuber. And then that was me trying to draw. You and Bum. Ew, really gross. Um, um, my performance fan art looks really bad and my style sucked. Michael Afton fan art. Oh, and then Charlie in my old style. Alexander in my old style. Charlie in my old style. Oh, it's so ugly, bro. It's so ugly. Thing I did for TikTok. I remember someone commented on this TikTok and said, 
It was literally just like Gerard threatening Frank, like threatening his life. That's what it was. And that's, it was supposed to be funny. And I got a comment that said, you are the reason why people hate gay people. I was like, what does that have to do with the My Chemical Romance joke? <laughs> oh, I will gladly be the reason. Oh, a drawing of you and Bum. Yep. <laughs> That's all I have to say. That's all I have to say. This is for a TikTok I did. I stayed up really late making this TikTok because I remember about it. Because there's a lot you had to do. Um, my, Mikey, I see you put pickles on my McDonald's burger again. And he screams. Gerard and Frank, I'm gonna go feral. Gerard, Ray, and Frank. And then Gerard <laughs> screaming and crying on the floor. Gerard. Oh, <laughs> I get it now. My mom didn't want me. Why does he think K is a valid response? <laughs> and then Frank trying to kiss Gerard. Some pretty good 2D fan art that just got like ripped apart. <laughs> uh, this is the beginning of the TikTok. That's my macaroni! This is probably the first piece of My Chemical Romance fan art I ever did back in, I think, probably September of 2019. <laughs> yes, I have dates for everything because I remember these things. And yeah, I couldn't draw short hair back then, so I just drew Gerard with the fluffiest hair I've ever seen on the planet. <sighs> Um, this E does not stand for Eminem. It actually was part of a giant row of letters I had that went on my windowsill that spelled out my chemical romance. <laughs> this, which I had on my wall. Oh my god, another ugly drawing of... Another ugly, outdated, and weird drawing of Alex and Charlie. Like, I don't like any of this stuff anymore, except for maybe Supernatural. Hamilton will always have a place in my heart, but publicly I cannot say that that's one of my favorite musicals. Um, oh, not the total Roki, bruh. And then again, written in Japanese, Moonlight Sonata, 2020. Old BuzzFeed Unsolved fan art. I was so proud of putting blue marker over their skin. I was like, oh, no one's ever thought of that before. Yeah, we're just two dudes sitting in a tub. This was from our recent vacation, St. Augustine. I got bored at dinner, and so I drew some pretty ladies, Asia Erotica, some random lady, some model. Oh, the ghoul boys! Yep. Look at them, they're so cute. And then I tried to draw Sydney Prescott. Kinda looks like her. This is definitely from summer of 2020. 2D. Yep. God, I had to paint everything with acrylics. I owned no markers. Zero maidens and zero markers. Alexander and Charlie. All that's important coffee. Again. And then Alexander and Charlie again. Mikey in a skirt. <laughs> God, someone's gonna hate me for this video. I'm not. Oh, we had to make a print. Um, we had to make a stamp for art class, and I made prints with the stamp, and I made like seven of them and sold them for $10 each, and I made 70 doll hairs. Can you believe that? Oh my god. <sighs> a really cringy painting of Alexander and Charlie from like 2019. God. I love it. <laughs> it looks so stupid. I love it. Oh my god, guys, this is what I used to decorate my walls with. Um, this one says, Hell is empty, my guy. Because I was a Tumblr user and a Curtis Connor fan. I still am. You bring out my inner serial killer! Let's all take a deep breath. Um, and be more chill. Oh, wait. This little drawing of Frank. 
me trying to test out this pen, and apparently it wasn't a very good pen. So I guess I should end this with showing you the newest pages in my um, trash book. So this is it so far. We have some Riddler fan art. <laughs> Look at that baby. Look at that man. Him in a cardigan. Again. A redraw of some old Camp Camp fan art I did. Beautiful. Beautiful. Some more Bryce Tank thrust. And then more redraws of old Camp Camp fan art I made, which in the official sketchbook tour for this book, coming probably like next month, I will be showing you the original art. So stay tuned for that, guys. Let's get, let's go back to where this started, my actual desk. Um, so thank you for watching. Um, make sure to list at least five of my flaws in the comments section. Um, like the video, but I wouldn't. Subscribe, but I wouldn't. And dislike the video, because I know I sure did. Love you.